Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Eric. I'm a reseller, a picker, a flipper, a treasure hunter. Um, I like to get out there to garage sales, thrift stores, and um, you know the Goodwills and all the flea markets and find stuff and flip it on Amazon, eBay, and Poshmark. So if you're uh, just getting started in reselling and you're looking for uh, tips and tricks and stuff like that, you've come to the right channel. I've been doing this probably since uh, eBay started back in the late 90s. And um, I recently got into clothing on um, Poshmark, you know, a few years ago. And I also sell, like to sell books and vintage media like VHS tapes, um, you know, like the horror and stuff like that, that are rare and scarce and sealed. DVDs, box sets, stuff I can flip for a few dollars on uh, Amazon or eBay. And uh, CDs. If you're a reseller and you're just getting started, don't pass up the CDs because there is value there to be had. So that's what this video is about today. We are going to go over the CDs I found for the past week that I've been collecting. I've been buying at all the thrift stores and uh, Goodwills at the overpriced Goodwills. I would say uh, the majority is of this haul right here is from a few thrift stores. I rarely find anything at the Goodwills. I find box sets and stuff like that, like this, like the Trogs, this garage band from the 1960s. Um, they were famous for their uh, song, uh, Wild Thing. And um, I don't really know anything about them, but I know everybody knows Wild Thing. Picked this up for this, how much are CDs there? $2.99? $1.99. CDs are $1.99. So I paid two bucks for this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I scanned it. Goes for 30 plus on Amazon. So there's value right there. That'll be a nice little flip. And it's complete, it's a double CD. And um, there you go, the Trogs. <laughs> the Doors, LA Woman. Love the Doors. What is your favorite Doors track if you're a Doors fan? I always loved LA Woman. It just gets me going, you know? Um, but my favorite Doors track is um, Crystal Ship. Great band, um, Doors. This was from a thrift store, quarter. So a lot of these I got for a quarter and some of them I got for from the Goodwill and I'll, I'll tell you which ones. Um, probably the greatest, I would say the top three in my opinion, the greatest bands of all time, the greatest albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Every song on this album, it's just, this is pure perfection right here. Uh, Roger Waters, David Gilmore, um, just, how do you write something this good? I mean, oh my God, this this album is uh, just uh, perfection. It's just genius. I will buy this all day for a quarter, wouldn't you? Here's another one. You, you don't see this at Goodwill, never, never. Thrift stores, you'll get lucky from time to time. Led Zeppelin, another rare one. This is, uh, it's got Stairway to Heaven on it. Pick up your Led Zeppelins. Frank Zappa. Now, about a year ago, I had a huge lot of Frank Zappa CDs I picked up at a thrift store. And I don't know what happened. Maybe the person passed away, but they were all donated and it was pretty much his whole collection. Rare CDs, um, imports, box sets, and I picked them all up for, I think it was a quarter a piece. So I ended up spending like 10 bucks on the whole thing. Turned around, I'm not a Zappa fan, so that's why I sold it. Um, turned around, sold it for 500. Just whoop, huge, huge flip. Um, so keep an eye out for your Zappa CDs. Here's another one I am not a fan of, but I picked it up anyways. It's Jethro Tull, Aqualung. This is uh, like a special collector's edition in aid of various charities for the homeless. So that's a very good thing. And um, I just never got into them. You know, the whole flute thing or pan flute, whatever Ian Anderson plays, not my thing. Here's a rare one. This one is Kip Winger. It is, this conversation seems like a dream. Um, I listened to this one, got a couple good tracks on it. I believe it was released in the 90s after Winger. There we go. Very nice. Took this out. Frank Stallone. So Sly Stallone has a brother that plays, he's an artist, he's a musician. Um, heart and Souls. I had no idea. Doesn't he look just like him? Check it out. Get that glare off there. And this is worth a few bucks on Amazon. 
and it's still sealed. I don't know if he's any good. I don't know. I don't know anything about him, but for a quarter, I'll take it. Now these guys, God, I love these guys growing up in the eighties. He probably did too as the Smiths. Morrissey, uh, Johnny Marr, they broke up. They split apart, I don't know why. And uh, Marr went on to hook up with um, Bernard Sumner of Joy Division and uh, New Order and created this band called Electronic. This is a rare CD. Um, Electronic is kind of like a synth pop, alternative dance that uh, Sumner and Mark created. And they also collaborated with Neil Tennant from Pet Shop Boys um, on getting away with it. And I think Tennant sings Patience with the Saint on this album. So this is a rare CD. Good programming on the synths, on the keyboards. And uh, I believe it was released in 1991. This is the middle. Yeah. Use $6.99. That's not what I paid. I paid a quarter. But uh, check it out. It's um, it's a really good album. It's um, Soviet. I like that one. Get the Message is probably the most popular song from that album. So on this bad boy, this is a box set. The Police. Message in a box. The Complete Recordings. I had to pay up for this one. This one cost me a buck. Four CDs with the book and oh and the book is still attached i already have this though but if you saw this out in the wild would you pass this up for a dollar of course not so i'm going to sell this probably 25 30 bucks ebay or amazon i'll clean it up it's a little dirty but um that's a great find that's a score these guys um kind of a good band been around for 40 years um rush this is uh chronicles I don't know how many times I listen to this CD. I already have it. And I'll probably make a Rush lot because I have a lot of multiples of Rush. But, um, you know, the passing of Neil Peart, he had a huge impact on me. You know, his music, his playing, his lyrics. And uh, as I get older, you know, like Time Stands Still, that song lyrically, it still uh, has more meaning as I get older. He was just one of my favorite. Him and Stuart Copeland were just my favorite drummers in the whole wide world. That's such a huge loss. There's a band I never really got into, but, uh, you know, hard metal. Ooh, it's kind of broken. Megadeth. It's an awesome cover. Look at that cover. Super cool. Yeah, that's just insane. I mean, how do you pass that up? How does any teenager pass this up? Megadeth. Another CD you don't see anywhere. At least I don't. Um, quarter, Quiet Riot. This is Quiet Riot 3. I don't know anything from this album. I only know their first album, uh, Come On, Feel The Noise, Bang Your Head, stuff like that. Um, after that, I just kind of got away from it, went to the alternative scene instead, you know, like your Depeche Mode and, and stuff like that. So I never really got into their later stuff, but this is Quiet Riot 3. Hair band in the 80s, I, I believe mid 80s, maybe 86 or so. Not my thing. Molly Hatchet. Judas Priest, Unleashed in the East. Got Rob Halford on the front, on the back, on his, uh, his bike. And um, Rob Halford, one of my favorites growing up. He's a great vocalist. And uh, this is an awesome album. I don't know how many times I've listened to it, but uh, I love Tyrant, you know, the Ripper. I can't. Why would I even attempt to sing that? Uh, Green Man Alicia with a two prong crown, you know, some great songs on there. This is uh, Unleashed in the East, live in Japan. Cool looking. Great album. Uh, this band, I liked them when they came out, but. Uh, their music doesn't really hold up anymore. Dokken, um, Don Dokken, I think it was, the lead singer. And uh, I like the guitarist, George Lynch. He was very good. But this is the best of Dokken. And I've heard some of the songs lately on the radio. And they're just, in my opinion, I might get slammed in the comments for that. But this song, just, they just don't hold up. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I like the guitar playing on it, but uh, the songwriting just seems a little weak. 
Um, the lyrics, a little, you know, not very strong. But anyways, still from the 80s. Um, I'll put that in a heavy metal lot. These guys were strong. They had strong vocals, strong melodies. Love it first thing. Great CD. Add that to the heavy metal collection lot. Kiss. This is a Millennium Collection 20th Century Masters, the best of Kiss. Still sealed. It's got a few good tracks on here. You know, I was made for loving you. Came from Dynasty, which is probably my favorite Kiss song. Um, my least favorite Kiss song is Bath. I can't stand that song. I, I cringe when I hear it on the radio. Um, Strutter, I like Strutter, good song. What's your uh, favorite Kiss song? If you even like Kiss. Not the greatest musicians, but they were very entertaining and uh, I grew up listening to them and I thought they were the greatest thing back in the day and my father says, you'll grow out of them, you'll grow out of them. No way, never, never old man. Beatles, Doors, they suck. Kiss number one, man, number one. Totally wrong. My dad was right as usual. <laughs> Anyways, um, here's another one. Iron Maiden. Now, didn't these guys have the greatest album covers of all time? These guys, oh, they're amazing. Bruce Dickinson. Um, God, what's his name? Adrian Smith, Dave Murray, Nico McBrain was a drummer, and Steve Harris was the bassist, one of my favorite bass players of all time. And he was, the, I think he was the primary songwriter, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Ace is High, Two Minutes to Midnight, you know, Flash of the Blade. But look at the inside. I, I mean, look at Eddie. That is, what teenager didn't love this? I would stare at this out. Uh, at their albums and just find little things, you know, in there. And I would just, oh, the, the artwork on it is just amazing. Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Def Leppard, Pyromania. And uh, Foolin, Photograph. You know, how can you go wrong with that? This is 1983. Metallica, Justice For All. The song One is just a great song. I love playing it for the kids when we have practice to get them going, get them pumped up, and get them all fired up. Just in that one, and Master of Puppets. Battery, uh, Master of Puppets, you know, that song gets them going. It just gets them all fired up and ready to play ball. <laughs> Good stuff. More uh, Metallica. This is Death Magnetic. It's one of the greatest uh, CD covers I've ever seen. Look at this. Amazing. It's cut in the shape of a coffin, which is really cool. I don't know a damn thing about this album. I kind of, these were what I listened to and um, Kill Em All, you know, the early Metallica stuff. Uh, Ride the Lightning, that was my thing, but the later stuff I never really got into. I um, So I don't know anything about this album. Um, it's Death Magnetic, and it's just got a really cool cover. I don't know if I want to sell this or not. We'll see. Uh, Van Halen, Diver Down. Another uh, group you never see at uh, the thrift stores. Yep, this was a quarter. This one was from the Goodwill, so this one was uh, $1.99. For two bucks, I'll take it all day long. Anyways, that is my CD haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, keep a lookout for CDs at your thrift stores and your overpriced Goodwills. And um, like I said, you can lot them up together, like a, uh, you know, a bunch of Megadeths, the, you know, their complete collection or whatever, maybe three or four CDs that you find, lot it up, put it on eBay, it'll sell, I guarantee it. Um, you know, some of these I'm, I'm going to lot up and sell. I'll probably do a heavy metal uh, lot, you know, a classic rock together and um, I'll collect some more. I'll find some more and I'll put them together when I get enough CDs. I'll put it on eBay, lot it up, and um, make a few bucks. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch. I thank you so much and take care, stay well, and peace out.